Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige. If you are new here, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button down below. If you are not new here, welcome back to another video. I don't know where to put you guys, so this camera will stay up. All right, it's just gonna have to stay here. I'm sorry, guys. So, hi, hello, how are you guys doing? So basically, today, I figured I would just film like I spend the night with me. So, it's literally 2.49 right now, and I will explain why in a second. But yeah, I have a few things that I wanna do tonight, so I figured it would be fun to just take you guys along on a little vlog with me. So, I literally just got out of work, and I wasn't supposed to get done work until four, but I got done early. Um, which never happened, so this was like perfect on a day that I wanted to film. So I wanted to make a little to-do list, but I forgot to do it, so I have a mental to-do list. So right now, I'm going to go to the car wash because, uh, I mean, at this point, you guys have already seen this video, but tomorrow I'm going to be filming the I Got A New Car video, which you guys have like already seen by now, like probably so long ago, but I just want my car to be nice and clean for that video. And then I do have to go to the bank just to deposit a check, something boring. I'm going to make dinner tonight. I want to put this seat together that my family gave us um, for the baby. It's like a little bouncer seat. I know it's so early to do that. Um, only 20 weeks and 6 days when I'm filming this, but I'm probably like at least like 22 weeks by the time you guys are seeing this. I don't really know when this is going to go up, but... Sorry, I don't know what to do with my hands. Like, this is so awkward. My wheel is just, like, in the way. I have to, like, sit up to talk to you guys. It's just such an awkward position in this car to film. It was definitely a lot easier to film in my other car. But, anyways, I'm not trying to make this, like, so rambly. But, basically, yeah, there's just a few different things that I want to do tonight. I also want to go through, like, this bag of clothes for the baby that was given to me by just, like, hand-me-downs from, like, a family member and um see like what we want to keep and what we might want to donate so yeah there's just a few different fun things that i want to do tonight so i figured i would bring you guys along on a vlog so yeah um the first things first is i'm probably gonna go to the bank first just because i think that that's like closer to me right now and then i am gonna hit the car wash so i will see you guys when we get to the car wash all right guys so the bank was a complete fail Basically, the check that I had to deposit was because we switched apartments in our apartment complex. So, basically, it was like me and CJ getting our security deposit back from the other apartment. Boring stuff that you guys don't care about. But, basically, the check has both me and CJ's name on it. And the bank can't deposit it because CJ isn't a member on my account. And their, the check didn't have two signatures. It only had my signature. So basically the only way we're going to be able to deposit this check is if I add CD to my account, which is fine. But it's just so extra because now it's just like a whole extra step that we have to take. So yeah, I wasn't able to deposit the check so the bank was a fail. So yeah, right now I'm about to um, go pick up our clothes from CD's mom's house because CD was there yesterday and they did our laundry for us. And so yeah, I'm going to go pick up our clothes and then I'm going to go to the car wash after that. So I'll see you guys when we get to the car wash. But now my mood is killed because I wanted to deposit my check and it didn't work. But it's okay. I don't want to not be in a good mood for this video because I wanted to pick up the camera for a reason. So, you know, anyways, this just shows that sometimes things just don't go your way and that's okay because life isn't perfect. And I just feel like I'm in an era in my life right now where this has nothing to do with the bank, but... I just wanted to say this to you guys. I just feel like I'm in an era of my life right now where I'm just trying to like be at peace with myself and just understand that like, you know, I'm human and I'm not perfect and nobody is. So like, I'm just trying to learn how to like not be hard on myself. And yeah, I just want you guys to take that into consideration into your own lives. Again, this has nothing to do with the bank. It's just, I thought about it and I wanted to mention it to you guys. But yeah, I just want you guys to take that into your own lives that we are all humans and no one is perfect and that's okay and you know it's okay to have hard days it's okay to feel emotions and yeah it's just okay to not be okay or it's okay if things don't go your way you know i don't even know what i'm saying right now i just want you guys to know that it we're not perfect we're all human and that's okay but yeah anyways i will see you guys later all right guys so clothes are secured and now I'm at McDonald's because when I was at work, I didn't really eat any lunch. And as you guys know, I work at a restaurant, but I just, I'm so tired of eating the food there because I just eat it all the time. 
Um, so I'm in the McDonald's drive thru right now because CJ's mom lives right next to a McDonald's. Yeah, I'm a little hungry because I didn't eat anything. And I told you guys that I was going to make dinner tonight, which I still am, but I might just make like a little bit of a late dinner because I'm not sure if CJ is going to be eating with me anyway because he works until 8 as you... I don't know if you guys know that or if I've ever mentioned that before. But he works until 8 and then um, he usually goes to the gym after, so he usually eats late anyway. So it's okay because I'm still going to make dinner. But yeah, I just want something like quick right now. And as you guys know, I'm pregnant and I need to feed my baby. But yeah, there is a long line in this drive-thru right now, so while I sit here and wait for the line to go through, I figured that I would just kind of talk to you guys about what I was talking about earlier. But before I touch on that, I just wanted to tell you guys like a little update. So I'm filming this on a Tuesday right now, and on Sunday, I felt the baby kick for the first time, and it was so crazy because... It was kind of hard to tell that it was happening. So me and CJ, we went to the boardwalk just to like walk around for a little bit and just like get out of the house. And I felt like movement in my stomach, but not like my stomach, but like my lower stomach area. You guys know what I mean. And I like didn't know like if I was like really feeling it or if it was just like in my head type of thing. And then it kept happening and I was like, this has to be her. Like it was just such a weird feeling. It was like bubbling is how I would describe it. And it's so weird because everybody describes it as something different, but that is the best way that I can describe it for me personally. It just felt like bubbling, and it was just so crazy. CJ tried to put his hand on my stomach, but he couldn't really feel it. I think it was more just like I could feel it like internally. Yesterday, Monday, I was like pretty busy, and I don't know. I feel like to feel it, at least this like, it's not really early, but this soon like when you first start feeling it i feel like it's something that you really have to like focus on so like when i'm like super busy i don't really like feel it as much but when i like think about it and i focus on it is when i really do feel it so after i took a shower last night i was laying in bed before i went to sleep and i was like messing with my stomach a little bit like poking it and stuff and i actually could feel like kicking and it's just so crazy like it's such a beautiful feeling being pregnant and growing this human inside my body like it's insane and just feeling her move and just like knowing that she's in there obviously I know that she's in there but like feeling her move is just so different it's such a different feeling and it's just such a beautiful feeling like I just love the way that it feels and just like feeling her little movements and um as I was pulling into McDonald's actually I was like actually feeling it and it's just so like cool to feel it and it's just it's so beautiful but yeah so I wanted to give you guys a little update that I've felt her kick now and like I said you guys aren't seeing this video for a little while still um from the moment that I'm filming it but it was I don't know I just wanted to tell you guys because it was just so cool but anyway yeah I wanted to touch on what I was saying earlier because it probably didn't make any sense but Basically, I just feel like it's very easy to be hard on yourself, especially me, as I always say, I don't know if I've ever said this in a vlog before, but I always say this to like my friends, my family, we are our own biggest critics, and it's so easy to be like judgmental on ourselves and be like, wow, I'm not doing enough, wow, I should be doing better, I should be doing this instead of this. It's just so easy to be hard on ourselves, and we are just really our own biggest critics, and... I've just really been trying to get out of that mindset lately and just realize like I'm human and you know uh, it's okay if I don't eat the healthiest like right now should I be eating McDonald's I know that this is not healthy for my body probably not but do I want it I, I do and it's okay that I want it because I'm human and I'm gonna want food and that's just a silly example but I feel like it's easy to be hard on yourself when you know like you're not being the healthiest at least for me personally so yeah that's just one example or like another example is i wanted to post pictures on instagram and they actually did get posted and as i always say if you guys don't follow me on instagram go follow me i'll put it on the screen but basically um i wanted to post these pictures on instagram and i didn't like them like i was like oh like these pictures aren't cute and I want more to be taken and then I sat back and I realized I don't need to have five million pictures in my phone to have one picture that I like or two pictures or three pictures that I like when I can just use the pictures that were already taken and like them and not be so hard on myself to be like oh this is what's wrong with this picture this is what's wrong with this picture if that makes sense because again I'm human I'm not going to like photoshop my pictures for Instagram like I don't know like that's just not me I'm not gonna like fake it for social media 
and that is one thing that I want my channel to be about and like if you guys are going to subscribe to me I want you guys to know that that is the type of person that I am I'm never going to fake it for social media I'm never going to fake it for you guys and if I get lucky enough to get to the point where I can get sponsorships and stuff like that I'm never going to be like that type of youtuber that's like oh I support this brand because they're paying me I'm only ever going to support a brand if I truly like support it and yeah I just I don't know if, if this makes I don't know if this is even makes sense right now I just want you guys to know that it's okay like I said earlier to not be perfect because nobody is we are literally all human and we are our own biggest critics and I'm just really trying to get out of that mindset and just realize that you know I am doing the best that I can and I live a pretty good life for you know being my age and stuff like that and yeah I'm just very blessed for what I do have in life and yeah I hope that this makes sense and that you guys watching if you are watching this if you are watching this thank you so much but I hope that you guys watching this can just take something from this and just realize like you know sit back and like if you also do what I do and I'm just are really hard on yourself just sit back and be like you know this is what I have accomplished and this is what I am proud of myself for and you know just appreciate the things that we do have rather than the things that we don't and yeah that's pretty much what I'm trying to say but yeah I've told you guys that I've been going I was going to the car wash like multiple times now and I still haven't gone so yeah I'm definitely gonna go after that I get this food um, I'm probably just gonna go to one that's like closer to the house because I'm still like not even near home right now so yeah, I will just see you guys officially when I get to the car wash. Let me try, we just go with the motions. Close your eyes, ease your mind for a moment. Need no smoke that make you feel you floating. You no joke or you pressure, you know it. You know it, you know it. I don't follow the pressure, I be handling the business. Get it finished, no extras, don't get in the specifics. Wave maker, I came up out the Pacific. No, you don't trust what you can see. Some things are left to believe in. I just wanna know you believe me You feel nothing good in life would be this easy So I'm home now I went to the car wash as you guys saw And it is a while later now When I was out My friend to my had called me And asked if um, I was home and I was busy Because she wanted to come see our new apartment So she came over for a little bit And she had dinner with me and CJ And just like saw our apartment We hung out for a little bit and so yeah, now I'm about to continue my little spend the night with me. So right now I think I'm gonna try to make some homemade lemonade. And if you guys wanna know one thing about me, it's that I literally love lemonade. And when me and CJ were on the boardwalk on Sunday, we had this fresh lemonade that was like made from scratch and it was so good. So I'm gonna attempt to make my own lemonade. I bought like literally 10 or 11 lemons yesterday. So. I'm excited to try to make some lemonade. I really don't know how to do it. I mean, I know I literally just squeeze lemons, water, and sugar, I think. But, yeah, I'm not quite sure. But I'm going to try my best, and I will let you guys know how it comes out. So I'm going to watch some TikToks right now, because TikTok is just my research engine. And, yeah, I will see you guys when we're about to make some lemonade. All right, guys, so I watched some TikToks, and people do it differently in different ways. So I think I'm literally just going to wing it. I mean, I feel like I will like it regardless. So I think the first thing's first. I don't have a lemon like squeezer thing. So I'm going to cut these up and then literally just like squeeze them, I guess. All right, guys. So I didn't even show you the pitcher, but this is the pitcher. And I got the sugar, the water, and the lemonade juice in here now. And I even put some like of the fresh lemons in there. So I'm about to make this mix this up right now and then we're gonna give it a little taste test and this was honestly like really fun to do so if it's yummy this will definitely start being something that I do because I love lemonade and it was just a fun activity but yeah I have to change my battery real quick and then I'll see you guys in a second all right we are all good I switched batteries so let me finish stirring this up so we can try it and yeah, I, for I completely forgot to tell you guys that I wanted to do this in the beginning because I forgot about it in the beginning. But I remembered when I came home and I saw the lemons in the thing. I was like, oh yeah, I wanted to try to make lemonade. So yeah. I want to romanticize this so bad. So I'm going to use our little um, heart-shaped ice cubes. Okay guys, I wish I had a glass straw, but I don't. I only have this little metal straw. So we're going to mix it up and let's try it. Get the full effect. 
you guys. It's so good. It's so crazy that it literally didn't even take that much for it to be so good. This is so good. So yeah. Just a random little thing I wanted to do in today's vlog. So if you guys ever want to make homemade lemonade, for me personally, I just want it. That's not even a word, but you know what I mean by that. For me personally, I was just like, I'm just going to do it. I used 11 lemons, uh, 2 cups of sugar, and water. That's literally it. And it's delicious. So yeah, this was a success. So right now our kitchen is looking so ridiculous. I don't even want to show you guys because it looks so bad. But I'm going to show you anyway because I was just ranting earlier about how I'm a real YouTuber. And I'm always going to be real with you guys. I'm never going to fake it for social media, right? So I'm going to show you the mess in here right now because it's ridiculous. So yeah, let me show you. So from dinner, I made myself a salad. So this is literally all of like the salad remnants. Uh, we have the lemonade over here, the stuff I was using to mix it with. We have all of the lemons over here. And we still have dishes from dinner and this whole sink full of dishes. So right now, I am going to clean this up. And then we are going to go through the baby clothes and build a little chair. And that'll probably be it for today's Spend My Little Night With Me. So let's get to cleaning this very messy kitchen. Alright guys, kitchen is all clean now. The only thing I have is still my lemonade cup. But everything's all clean now. So that feels good that it's clean. It is literally 9 p.m. now, and I feel like this vlog has been all over the place. So right now, I'm about to go through these baby clothes that I was telling you guys about, and then I'm going to show you guys what I decide to keep. And then after that, we're going to put together the little um, chair. Sorry guys, I have a whole pile of stuff that I'm deciding to keep, and a little pile of stuff that I'm deciding not to keep. And there's nothing wrong with the stuff to not keep, it just like some stuff had stains, because like I said, it was just hand-me-downs. So I'm sure there was like stains from like spit up and whatever, you know, just the normal baby stuff. So I didn't really want to keep that. There was just like a few shirts that I like wasn't my style for her. So I wouldn't keep them either. And I know that sounds weird, like style for a baby. But um, it was just like camo and stuff. And that's just not our vibe. So I'm going to run through quickly of what I decided to keep. So anyway, we have this little shirt. A whole bunch of little like socks. We have this little shirt. I might not show you everything just because I don't want this to take forever. I just want to show you like the stuff that I think is like super, super cute. Look at this. It says, watch me go. So adorable. Um, I love these little outfits for like the summer when they get older because they're going to like their diaper will be sticking out of here and they have like little diaper butt. It's so cute. I really like this one that says, squeeze me. And then I think like these little pants could like be paired with that. And then there's this one that says Mommy's Little Sprout. There's this little just like Jessica Simpson onesie. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this pile. So like I said, I'm not going to show you guys everything just because there's a lot of stuff here and I don't want this video to be like forever. But hand-me-downs are always greatly appreciated because we're going to need all of the clothes that we can get for baby girl. So yeah, I'm going to go put these away and then I'm going to start building the little bouncer. Alright guys, so this is the little bouncer that I'm going to be building. And it's actually funny because we had one very similar on our registry, but my parents just got this for me because they saw that it was in clearance. So I don't know like if it's hard to put together or not, but I'm about to open it and see what happens. Alright, so the directions are literally just pictures and I low-key hate that, but if that also means like hopefully it's easy. I feel like I don't want you guys to think that like I just do all of these things alone and CJ doesn't help me. One, CJ just helps me a lot with things off of camera because he doesn't want to just like be on camera all the time. Two, I'm just an independent woman, guys. I just like to do things on my own. He's CJ at the gym right now and I literally told him I was going to do this and he was like, why are you going to do that right now? You could do that in like August. And I was like, I just don't want to wait because as you guys know, it's like only June right now. But yeah, I'm just, if you guys know anything about me, and I feel like you should by now, um, I just like to get things done. I don't like things to be sitting around and not getting done because it just drives me crazy. When we moved into our first apartment, I literally had everything finished the way I wanted to like three days after we moved in. When we moved here, granted, 
I still am working on things. It's probably been like a week, two weeks-ish by now. Um, I still am working on things, but a majority of it was done within a few days. And yeah, and now that baby girl is coming, literally the moment that I knew I was pregnant, I started working on my registry. You know, I found out my gender before most people do because I wanted to get the blood work. I didn't want to wait for the ultrasound. There's just multiple different things that I could give you examples of, but I just don't like to wait. If there's something that I know I can get done, I just want it to get done. I don't want to be waiting. But yeah, I just wanted to make that comment about CJ because I'm always doing things like this on camera for myself and I don't want you guys to think like, oh, why doesn't CJ help her? Even though no one probably is thinking that and I'm just being so extra explaining this right now. But yeah, there's just no reason for me to be doing this right now, but it's my personality to be doing this right now. Anyway, that's my little rant. All right guys, it's a little while later and we got it built. I need chapstick so bad, my lips are so dry right now. But we got it built and I already told you he was trying to climb into the chair. So this is the final product. It looks super, super cute. So now the swing is built and that officially finishes everything on my to-do list. I'm really tired now. Anyway, with that being said, that is the end of today's vlog. Thank you guys for spending the night with me the afternoon slash night with me and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i just really enjoy doing videos like this like just chill videos where i can like bring you guys along with me on whatever it is that i'm doing and yeah i just really like making these videos and just being super chill so if you guys like these videos too comment down below and let me know and also subscribe of course because if you subscribe you will get more of these videos but yeah, thank you all so much for watching my little spend the night with me slash pre-nesting video. It's like not only the pre but the only pre-nesting part was me building this thing. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Got me warm though, you so you so you